club record signing. Dean Smith's got his man. Welcome, Ollie Watkins. Hello and welcome to Up The Villa podcast. So we've got our main striker in this window, record signing, Ollie Watkins. I'm absolutely buzzing about it. It's a real exciting transfer. It's one that I've had my eye on all window and I've just been hoping that it got through the line and it did. So just buzzing about it. I think he's, he's dynamic, he's versatile. He knows where the goal is. He bangs in the goals. He scores with his left, with his right, with his head. Championship player of the season, 25 goals. Let's just hope he can bang them goals in for Villa. And one stat that I've not seen many people mention is the big chance he scored stat. He scored 19 of those. He was first in the championship with that stat. And I think that fits well for me with Villa so much because I feel like we don't take our chances. And especially after lockdown, we just we just weren't taking our chances. You know, we 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 create a lot, but we just don't take them. And I think Watkins knows where the goal is. He's going to bang the goals in uh, and he's going to grow as a player. So some of the things that really impressed me, like yesterday, what I was watching from Villa was obviously Dean Smith's reaction. He was like a kid at Christmas. Like, it was so good to see. Like, it was just like love at first sight again, wasn't it, really? Um, so that was really good. Uh, his interview was brilliant. He was really humble, but he knew that he can grow as a player. He's relishing the challenge. He, he wants to play on the big stage. And that's music to my ears. Someone that can back up what he's trying to do uh, and have that ambition to, to drive himself forward and drive us forward. Um, like I say, it's a real good signing, really exciting. He's versatile as well. So at Brentford, he spent a few seasons out wide and then he had to adapt and learn the role as a striker. And boy, did he learn it well. You know, with 25 goals, absolutely brilliant. He scores with his left, with his right, with his head. You know, last season, he didn't score any penalties. So all his goals came from open play as well, which is just absolutely brilliant. Um, how do I feel like it fits in with, with Villa and what we're trying to do? I, I just think it, it, it's right. He, he's pacey, he's versatile. He knows where the goal is, so I'm really looking forward to seeing him in the Villa shirt, seeing him grow and seeing him adapt to the Premier League. The fee, it is a big fee, but I think he's he's 24, so age is on his side. He's going to grow, he's going to adapt, and I just think any transfer is a risk. I know the transfer fee is a lot, but that's the price that you've got to pay these days for a real good striker. Brentford know what he's worth, so, you know, He's just going to have to obviously pay us back with all these goals. So, like I say, really exciting. Hopefully, we can get a few more through the door now. Hopefully, it's a bit of like a marquee signing for us. So, once this one's gone through, all of the others will start falling into place now. For me, I still feel like we'd probably need another striker. Uh, I feel like we definitely need a keeper. Could maybe do with a central midfielder slash another winger as well. So, we've still got a lot to do. Um, but we've got an episode coming out on Monday where we've got a lot of Villa fans coming on talking about their thoughts ahead of the new season. So that's going to be a real good episode. I hope you've enjoyed the content that we've put out in pre-season as well. We've had 1-11 to kits, AVFC, Kit Geek, James Rushton. So I've had some real good content on in pre-season. Um, more about what we are actually about. We're, a, we're like a football phoning, really. We're a podcast here for the fans, for you to have your say, to come on board and talk about all things Aston Villa. It's solely fan content as well. We have got a blog page on WordPress, so if you type in up the Villa podcast on, on WordPress as well, you'll find us on there. Again, purely fan content. So if you want to come on board and write a piece about Aston Villa, you can write about anything childhood memories, favourite football players, talk about the academy, talk about signings, talk about style of play, anything that you want to talk about, you can come on board and write your piece and we'll publish it as well. We don't change it word for word either, so we just run through the grammar. So it's purely your piece, so you can come on board and have your say on that as well. So hopefully we're creating some real good content for you. If you could subscribe to the channel, you'll help us grow. 
uh, and we're there for you, just purely the fans. You have your voice and have your say. So speak to you all soon. Up the villa. <laughs>